afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs of Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Guys, I wasn't planning on doing a video today. Um, just got this one in, guys. I, I can't stress to you enough. This thing will be gone by Monday afternoon. Uh, this is incredible buy on a diesel pusher class a motorhome and guys that that price is not a misprint got some miles on it but where else are you going to find a four slide diesel monaco diesel pusher on that with a 400 horse engine for 59.9 you can't even buy a gas model for that price well guys this is a 2006 monaco diplomat 40 paq 40 feet 11 inches we'll round it up to 41 feet long four slides two sets of opposing slides tons of space uh built on a roadmaster rr8r chassis which is not the recall one sitting on good tires generator running got an 8kw on and diesel generator 400 horse isl cummins with a 1200 pound feet of torque this thing will get up and go at least for a 41 foot motorhome 10,000 pound tow capacity, $59,900, guys. This is a deal that Parkway, only Parkway RV Center can bring you. Now, it's got some miles on it, but it's a diesel. It's got 127,000 miles. But considering that this is a 15, 16 year old coach, break it down per year, that's not bad at all. I mean, that's what diesels are made for, to put miles on them. I've seen them with them. Excuse me, sorry about that, right here next to the road. I've seen these motor homes with three times that many miles and run and drive great. So this thing's got a ton of life left to it. And for those of you who are familiar with diesels, you know that's not even a concern. And it's got all the right equipment, guys. Like I said, it's got the uh, RR8R chassis, which is a very smooth riding chassis, eight outward, uh, outward mounted air shocks and airbags. I got the motor running right now, generator running, power and everything. Power patio awning. You've got slide toppers and all your slide outs, hydraulic leveling jacks, no check engine lights, and even the dash air works. So somebody's kept this thing up very well. Beautiful full body paint. 10,000 pound tow capacity, that big 400 horse ISL diesel. We'll take you down the road with plenty of power to spare. Got the Alcoa wheels, leveling jacks. She's a beaut. I mean, the book on this thing is, is unreal. It's $79,350 with no added options. Let me uh, flash that up real quick. Guys, that's 20 grand, almost 20 grand under book. Of course, the reason being because of the miles, but you can't fault the condition. Big one piece Panavision windshield, got the chrome velvet mirrors, fog lights, slide out tray in the front with the 8KW on and generator. Wow. 59.9. Let's look inside. Like I said, you're getting a. That's pretty much a pre-pandemic price, and that's uh, pretty much a gas model price in a diesel. And of course, you know, this is going to be a lot heavier duty than a gas model, too. Let's look inside. Go ahead and shut the door. Today being Saturday, there's been a lot of people um, out here wanting to look in them. Because honestly, this, I'm going to lock the door. This one won't be here long. If I get it on before we close tonight, it wouldn't surprise me if somebody paid and left a deposit on it for five o'clock tonight. Front leather seats look great. I mean, especially to have 127,000 miles on them. Power, recliner, the dash air works. And that's something that hardly ever works on one, a class A, because most people run the generator, run the roof airs. But, ah. Got Bluetooth touchscreen stereo does have the Aladdin system built into your backup camera. And uh, basically for those of you who want to know what the Aladdin system is, I know it's kind of maybe obsolete by today's technology, but 
you've got a control panel over here and it shows you all the information on your motor temperatures transmission temperatures uh battery condition you can pull your camera up you've got road speed gear and it also shows you uh of course fuel mileage turbo boost if i can find it here yep this is what's really cool guys intake manifold outside temp engine coolant temp all the important information a rv a, a responsible rv driver on a long trip wants to know in their coach 127 136.3 no check engine lights everything looks good in fact it's got three quarters of a tank of diesel fuel in it heck you say it's probably got three or four hundred dollars worth of diesel in it dash air works great again that's very unusual um because like i said it's a lot cheaper well not really cheaper but if you run a generator it's a lot more efficient because you can run your rooftop units <coughs> while driving down the road now if you're just one person traveling by yourself obviously you just run your dash air but if you've got passengers that's the only way you're going to keep them comfortable <coughs> is run the uh, whoo, excuse me that dash air is actually making me cough a little uh, got the air brakes air suspension it does have the nice six-speed allison 3000 transmission it's got automatic traction control um, adjustable power pedals power gear leveling jacks dash looks good there's no smoke or pad odors in here um, yeah guys i mean this is incredible motorhome for this price uh, i cannot stress to you again how much i trust you not another deal like this not not for a four slide diesel pusher with a 400 horse engine um for this price anywhere else i mean you're welcome to get online and look you saw the nada i mean we're not playing around it is price to sell not sit around um deals like this you can usually judge the last days sometimes these things last hours so keep that in mind you know this is a unicorn that just doesn't exist except right here don't believe me Look up some, uh, go on RB Trader and look up some uh, quad slide Monaco's with a 400 horse engine. Let me know what you come up with. TV up top, it does have the fiberglass roof. Uh, it does have the uh, nine layer roof system, so it is very well insulated. And it also has five layer sidewall, five layer um, roof, uh, floor system as far as insulated and all that. It is four seasons. Now, guys, the carpet in this thing's original. I'm either I'm gonna try to clean it. If it doesn't clean it, we'll replace it. So, one of the two. All right, now I am. I don't really have a carpet guy, so um, he left. So it probably several more months before he's back in town. He goes he goes back and forth to California doing carpets over there, and then coming here and doing carpets. So reason being because he can make triple the money over there but he's got to pay triple the money to live there so <laughs> um but he does come here every few months and and he just didn't get a chance to get this one done before going back home but so we're going to try to clean it but like i said if we have to we'll, we'll replace it ourselves because it's just a small piece anyway it's not that big a deal a lot of it's ceramic tile which looks great there's no cracks in it which is very unusual for a motorhome with this many miles not to have a crack or two in the tile or the Corian countertops, this one doesn't. Like I said, the people took very good care of this one. And tell you something else, you know, I look for certain signs when I'm looking at RV, how well it's been taken care of. And I seen this when I was looking in here and the previous owners left, put the batteries, took the remotes out of the batteries, keep them from corroding and put them in a container. Not many people or that extreme about taking care of an RV. Plus, you know, the fact that dash air works because that's something that will usually fail long before this gets to the age this one is at now. So they probably spent a lot of money uh, rebuilding that system, so it, keeping it working. Uh, leather seats look great, good and soft. Flex steel captain's chairs, the best. Got a recliner. This is factory, dinette. Of course, books and manuals, everything's in there. Uh, another leather sleeper sofa crown moldings got the the padded headliners if you ever have a, a roof leak 
it's going to sag like an old car headliner and there's no sag in it anywhere 10 gallon dsi gas electric water heater and you can see guys they still got all the original sink covers and stove top covers nothing's cracked nothing's broken as far as all this it's got the ceramic backsplash sinks look great they are the uh, matching sinks instead of just a stainless steel sink microwave convection oven and this is just how it came in guys we haven't cleaned it yet uh three burner stove top which i hadn't even looked at yet look at this guys can you believe they put 127,000 miles on this coach look at this stove look at these stove eyes of course i know i hear it all the time well people just don't cook in rvs anymore well i do i cook more in an rv than i do in my own house and we cook a lot at home but um yeah give you an idea how it's been taken care of they've added some hooks right here it does have the 12 cubic foot nor cold rv refrigerator freezer with a uh, it runs on propane or electric like i said it's just came in so we haven't cleaned it yet we do guarantee the refrigerators and freezers to work i've got both roof airs on right now blowing icicles I don't think you're going to have a problem with cooling this thing. Um, let's see if it's starting to get cold yet. Yep, it is. So, 99% certain it works. Stainless steel front, too. I like the bathroom in here. And, of course, you got a solid door right here for privacy. You step toward the back. Medicine cabinet. More Corian countertops shower here in the corner and um, dead wasp <laughs> see we haven't cleaned it yet but uh, you can look up top here skylight looks great see I think that roof system in that's nine layer roof um, little shampoo and soap dispenser lock that so i don't worry about somebody driving it and not locking it you do have a water closet and another signs that i look for guys is of course you saw the shower it's not bleached yellow that means of course you can tell from the outside it's been stored under cover when not in use and you can look in here guys you see the wallpaper border notice it's not peeling around the edges that means it hasn't been stored in extreme heat and humidity because it'll make that peel over the years and it hasn't so that's another good sign that's been well taken care of look here in the back and you've got two more opposing slides and got a television everything back here looks good lots of drawer and cabinet space queen island bed a couple of lots are, are missing bulbs like that one over there you do have washer and dryer hookups but it's never had one in it still got the shelving in it so that's something if you wanted to add later on, you certainly could. Um, there's just some sheets and blankets I left in here. Closet. Keep in mind, we're standing right on top of this motor, so. Not a huge closet, but really, guys, it's, you don't really, people really don't travel in RV with suits and dresses anymore, but I guess you could if you wanted to. I guess if you're full timing, you probably want to carry one with you, but uh TV. ACs feel great. And then you also have a solid door here. So you can completely isolate the bathroom from the bedroom and the rest of the RV if you want to. Got a Magnum inverter, 2000 watt. which is uh wow we get it cleaned up and get this carpet cleaned to replace man of course it won't last that long i mean we're going to do that stuff but it'll be so long before that happens because again where else are you going to find a motorhome like this and i love those windows guys i'm a big i love windows and rvs guys to me um you know, I know a lot of people keep their blinds closed 24-7. Hey, I get it. And there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you're into. But when I'm out camping, if I'm not outside, I still want to see the outside. I want to see, uh, enjoy it 
enjoy nature. That that's what I love about our Um and I love and because of that I love with the windows. And you've got a ton of them right there, especially when you're sitting there drinking your coffee in the morning or eating a meal and you got a nice view. Hopefully it was something beside a gravel parking lot full of RVs. And that windows just really make it open and roomy too. And of course, you know, if you keep them closed all the time, hey, more power to you. I, 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 I don't, but there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just a shame to have all those windows and leave them shut all the time. Of course, I shut them off at night, but it does have tinted windows, so it's hard to see in here anyway. It's not one way by no means, but you, you, you'd have to really get up close to it and see in, even during the day. But uh, you do have a curtain that goes around the windshield as well. Anyway, guys, this unit is $59.9. Haggle-free, firm, and I, you try to find one for less. I challenge you guys. Four slide, Monaco. Yeah, this is Monaco and Holiday Rambler, of course, same company. Uh, they built, I believe this is the same thing as a Holiday Rambler Endeavor. Um, guys, these things were so well built back then. I mean, so much better built than what they are now. And um, may not have the technology you know, you're not going to have a Wi-Fi hotspot unless you use your phone. You're not going to have a, a, a 4G booster. Or you're not going to have whatever USB chargers everywhere and, you know, all this other technology stuff. But do you really need it? And if you got to have that stuff, you can always add it and get a better built motorhome for less than buying a newer one that already has all that stuff on it. And this one's a lot better built than the newer ones. And I think that's something just about everybody can agree with that's been around RVs for years like I have. The build quality of these things are two to one better than, than a 2022 model. And um, I promise you this, this thing's what, six years old, or it's an 06, it's what, uh, 16 years old? I guarantee you 16 years from now, 2022s, aren't going to look this good. I, I can pretty much guarantee you that. They'll be slap wore out. But, um, you know, back then, quality was a... Manufacturers cared about quality. They really did. I mean, of course, it cost more. You know, now everybody's trying to make them as cheap as possible. So, uh, but back then, I mean, you bought a Monaco or a Holiday Rambler, you knew it was going to cost you more than a Winnebago or a Fleetwood or a comparable unit. But you know you got what you paid for, and, and, and this is proof of it, guys. 16 years later, look how good this thing looks. And that, that, that goes a long way with me. But this unit is 59.9, and this is what we guarantee to work on it and what we inspect to work for the price you pay. Like I said before, the refrigerator freezer, of course, we guarantee the generator to run and put out electricity like it's supposed to, which it has been. It's running right now. We check, we guarantee both roof air conditioners to work. It does. Uh, we guarantee the slide outs to go in and out like they're supposed to. It does. Um, now, we haven't checked the water system yet, but we do guarantee the water system will check them when you buy it, and that includes water heater and water pump. So we'll make sure all that are good. There's no leaks. If there's any we find, we fix it. We'll make sure your water heater works. Uh, water pump all that stuff pressurizes and all that so we do guarantee those things to work and we guarantee the steps to work which they do we guarantee it drive down the road correctly which it does we drove it several hundred miles here i mean considering we're doing all that selling it for 20 grand in the book and I, you couldn't I, I can't imagine i mean it, it it's honestly i wanted to price this thing 10 grand higher but i got overridden on it Oh, it's that nice of a coach. I think we're selling it way too cheap, but hey, take advantage of it, guys. You're not going to find another one like this. And the good thing about it, if this is your first RV, this is something you can use for a year or two. And the way the inflation and the prices are going, you can sell it for what you paid for it if you take care of it. I mean, you're not going to risk anything versus going out and spending $250,000, $300,000 on a new equivalent of this and losing a hundred grand on it in two or three years and in, in, in resale value this thing right here it's pretty much at a stall it's not going to drop in value i'm already selling it 20 grand too cheap according to book but that's why we sell five to six hundred used rbs a year guy that, that's that's why 
People travel here from all over the United States. You can go anywhere and pay retail for one. But when you can go somewhere and pay 20 grand under retail, for that kind, or almost 20 grand, for that kind of savings, it's worth traveling longer to get to. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'd be, if I could save 15, 20 grand off the price of one somewhere else, yeah, I'm gonna travel two or 3,000 miles. It's more than worth it. And, um, and guys, that's just how we sell them. This unit is 59.9 while it lasts. And again, guys, call right away if you're interested in it. 706-965-7929 is our phone number. Call before coming to look. And don't be surprised if it already has a deal pending, which means a deposit is taken on it. And, I, you know, I, it's up to you to leave a deposit or not, but I highly recommend it on this one. Um, it's because of the price and what it is and guys again we only inspect those major things and fix them if they don't work everything else like if you've got to put a bulb in a light or a switch not working something like that guys that's up to you to fix it or not fix it for the prices we sell these things for we just cover the major stuff which is still more than most dealers do on used rvs we leave the mickey mouse stuff to you the stuff that costs the most money if it doesn't work we check and make sure it works and fix it if it doesn't at time of sale um everything else is on you to fix not fix buy it or not buy it that's why i highly recommend you do one of the two things first uh before buying it come down do an inspection on it yourself spend some time in it you know we do test drives monday through friday so if you want to come test drive it come then um or if you can't do it or don't feel comfortable doing it Hire a third-party inspection service, guys. I don't know why more people don't take advantage. I wish those guys had been around 20 years ago. I used one the other day on a motorhome I bought from, uh, from an individual out of town and paid a guy $400 to go over there and, and just go, it, go over it good, do an inspection before I sent somebody because it was about 12, it's about a 1,200-mile round trip, and I wanted to make sure everything was in good shape and to make sure the deal was legit and all that and everything checked out great and i've got a guy going after him. you know i'm a dealer and i use them <laughs> especially for an out-of-town purchase i mean there's nothing wrong with it and, and in the grand scheme of things i mean you're spending 60 grand what's a few more hundred dollars for peace of mind and i'm saving you money because i'm selling it to you 20 grand back a book i'm not charging you any fees besides applicable sales tax and of course if you're a Georgia resident, you'd have to pay a hundred dollar highway impact fee, forty to fifty dollar tag and title fee. But that's Georgia residents only. I'm not charging you dock fees, prep fees, processing fees, happy camper fees, franchise fees, or none of that nonsense. If you do want it delivered, it's a dollar fifty a loaded mile one way. I don't even charge you for the return trip, and uh, that's including fuel, paying my driver, and all that. So I think you got pays a dollar fifty a mile. So I'm saving you money coming and going. And, um, and I may have some financing available with approved credit. Ask one of my salespeople, guys. I don't want to misquote you on that uh, if we even have financing because 06 is kind of the cutoff year for long-term RV financing. But, um, guys, this is a nice unit. Well worth the money. I mean, like I said, you know, I'm not, and I don't say this lightly, there, there's probably room to make money on it if you wanted to. 59.9 while it lasts. I'm not going to take a penny less for it. Please don't ask. Not going to take an offer on it. That's what it takes to buy it. Any less than that, I'm going to sell it to the next person. Um, come out and take a look at it. Do your own inspection on it or hire somebody to do it. And um, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're family owned and operated for <laughs> 50 Wow, a uh, long time, guys, 54 years, that, since 1968. Three generations right here in Ringgold, Georgia. You don't stay in this business over half a century by selling overpriced junk. I mean, let's be honest. We sell used RVs. They're not new. They're not perfect. No used RV is. Most of y'all know that. I shouldn't have to tell you that, but y'all know that. We make sure the major stuff works. We leave the little stuff to you and the cosmetic stuff to you. Um... But look at what you're saving. Now, if you want to pay $79,350 for this thing, 
we'll be more we'll be absolutely thrilled to do a full inspection on this rv and check everything for 79 for this retail price you get a retail inspection it's all go it all boils down to you get what you pay for uh, to keep our prices down to where we do we only offer a basic inspection and we let you fix anything else it may need and if you've got a question about that or need to clarify that best thing to do is pick up your phone call one of my salespeople 706-965-7929 but again guys yeah you heard it from me you, you want to pay another 20 almost 20 thousand dollars more oh yeah we'll do an inspection on it and probably won't spend more than a few hundred dollars fixing whatever it needs to be fixed if even that so I'm giving the opportunity to save a lot of money. I mean, I've been shooting fifth wheels with no motor or transmission or generator in them for more than this Class A fully self-contained motor on with four slides, diesel power, diesel generator. And you know, with a fifth wheel, you gotta buy, you know, sixty, seventy thousand dollar truck to tow it with. This thing here, you just jump in it and go. I'll throw your little car behind it if you want to or whatever. 10,000 pound tow capacity, you're, you're pretty much open on what you can tow behind it. But guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Give us a call if you got any questions. Again, call before coming to look. Hit, smash me a thumbs up button. Sorry I didn't post a video yesterday. I, I took a day off working on my car. I've got a, a Pontiac Firebird uh, I've been kind of messing around with. And I wanted a, a kind of a break and that's one of my things I do to kind of uh give me a mental break and work on work on cars a little bit and i enjoy doing it so got it running actually drove it to work today for the first time and first time it's been on the road in a year um so i didn't shoot a video yesterday and wasn't going to do one today because we were so busy in fact i've locked the door and i've already had two people try to open the door while i'm filming this video so i'm sure there's a lot of people going to want to see it when i sign off but uh Thank y'all so much for watching, guys. 33,000 subscribers. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do. You never know from one day to the next one I'm going to film. I've got a lot of nice stuff coming in. i got some great buys like this. In fact, guys, I've got, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. 2001 American Eagle coming in. New tires. 49.9. Now, it's not four slides, but that will be one that will also fly off the shelf of course you know this one's got two extra slides a bigger motor and uh five years newer for ten thousand dollars more so that just shows you what kind of deal this is but anyway guys thank y'all so much for watching appreciate it smash me a thumbs up feel free to comment share on social media and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful ringgold georgia